Welcome back, everybody. Today, I've got yet another thing to show you. We've got a bit of an action-packed day today. We've already had one video out. We've got another one to go after this one, at least. We might even have to do another live stream tonight. Things are just getting busy. But what I wanted to show you today in this video was my scene variation for LTXV. So that's right, that's consistent character and scene video variation generation. If you don't want to miss my next video, hit that subscribe button, because YouTube ain't gonna tell you. Sounds like a mouthful, but essentially what it means is you can fix the seed and then using the same prompt, what we can do is we can pull off character variations. So we've got the same, if you can just see here, We've got, this is the same seed. I just want to show you, I mean, okay, let's just look at the video real quick, all right? So as you can see, we've got two videos. They're both generated with the same seed and prompt. However, we're doing a little trick with one of my old custom nodes. This used to be a chaotic in-painting node, but it turns out that actually it gives us video variation. So I'll show you how it works in just a minute, but if you pay attention to what this video looks like, this is using the LTXV video model. It took about eight seconds to generate the clip. And you can see it's the same person in the same seed, uh, same, same situation, same scene is what I was trying to say. And you see the expression on her face and the mouth movement. All right, now if we go down to the uh, other generation, it's the same character from a slightly different angle, same scene, different mouth movement, different expression, okay? And so if I look at these two, sometimes there's a lighting change as well. It's really quite hard to predict exactly what, I, what, it, what it'll do. But that'll make sense when I show you how it's done. And all you have to do is just keep generating the same prompt on the same seed. So let's just go through how that works. I'm using my uh, LTXV dialogue close-ups prompt list with a fixed. So that means it's the same prompt every time. I'm also using string weights, which is another one of my custom nodes. All it does is it wraps the prompt in brackets with a colon for 0.9. So it's just a, another way to automate weighting the attention of the prompt. Okay, that's all that is. Um, and then we're using text concatenate to join those two and then have the comma, right? So there's the comma there. And then this is the bit that's doing the, uh, the, ver the, the video variation. That's a 32-bit hex code. Okay, now we established that this works in mid-journey in 2022. It works in SD 1.5, it works in SD 2.1, it works with anything which uses natural language processing to convert a text prompt into an image. And so what I did was I made this in my DJZ Nodes custom nodes pack a long, long time ago. And essentially what it does is it generates a, uh, a hex string, okay? So all you have to do, if you were to bring this in from scratch, you know, if you were just going to say, oh, I want string painter, I take the V2 because it's got a few more options, all right? V1 is just a bit more basic. Uh, I think it lacks it comes to the, uh, the thresholding for the seed generation. It has its own seed generator, but don't worry about that too much. We've already got that. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, leave it on random. We're going to put this on 32. We're going to put that on random, and that's all you have to do. Okay? So it's not like rocket science at this point. What it's going to do on increment mode, it's going to actually go up. So the next one would be A2D. And then you see what I mean? It's because obviously hex has its own numeric system. OK, so I, I it does work with increment, but I feel that the perturbed attention is kind of smoothing over those minute changes. However, when you put it on random, which is going to be more of a change, it's going to make a bigger change. Um, uh, you're going to see that it actually changes either the mouth movement, the facial expression, sometimes whether they're putting their hand up, you know, little gestures, uh, that you can't really control it because they do follow the prompt. So you control things with the prompt, okay? But what I'm trying to say is that this gives us video scene variation. Nothing else has to change and you can use this with any workflow. So all you have to do is, as I said, add the string painter V2 to the end of your prompt. That's all you have to do. And then use the randomize random, and I recommend the 32 bit because I do think that the 16 bit isn't quite good enough. I think that if you want to make the effect more strong, then you can use, like I said, my string weights attention and you can like bring down 
the weight of the actual prompt, but I find point 0.9 works great for subtle variation. Uh, and so if we just do another one, so I've actually sort of, uh, I've bypassed this, so it keeps this one the same every time for comparison, okay? So if we just drag this up here for a second, so we've got them side by side, and then you can see that the next one is going to be different again. And all we have to do is just keep going through until we find all of the different scenes that we want. Um, and it's the hex code which is providing this variation. And so this gives us consistent character scene variations just by injecting the hex code to the end of your prompt. So that's the simplest way that I can put this. Um, it's a very short video, this one, mostly because it's such a simple thing. We discovered this on a live stream when one of my partners in crime who helped me to develop this system way back in 2022, he dropped by the live stream and I was like, oh, let's take a look at something that we worked on together and we shoved it into LTXV and this is what we ended up with. And I hope you can see, if I just do another one, because it's so easy, LTXV is such a fast video generation model. This is all running local and some people in our group have been running it on between 8 gigabyte and 12 gigabyte GPU uh, VRAM specs. So, you know, don't feel like you're going to miss out on the video explosion. It's totally up for grabs. And like I said, if you wanted to just overdub a character, so you get what if you can get one good generation of your character, you can now fix the seed, inject the um, hex code, as I've shown you. And I, like I said, I've made it easy with my nodes, very easy to do. The workflow is gonna be up on the GitHub. So let's just see, you'll find DJZ workflows in my GitHub, and it's gonna be inside the XODA, which is Zoda LTXV video pack. So you're gonna start seeing this workflow in there very soon. So that was pretty much the whole point of the video. I'm gonna keep it short because we've got so much to cover today but maybe I'll see you in the live stream. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mm. That's a bad intro, bad outro. Check, try to check out the live show if you can get to it. Uh, join our Discord and come along and get involved. And that's just about everything I've got for you today. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.